Hello, today is the anniversary of the birth in 1887 of Lawrence Stephen Lowry. Um, he was a painter of, of seascapes, landscapes, portraits, but best known for his industrial landscapes, um, with populated by um, what became known by those who disparaged his work as matchstick men. Uh, uh, and indeed, the, the way in which he drew the people uh, in these uh, industrial scenes that he became best known for it does look uh, unprofessional. And yet he knew perfectly well how to paint people. His portraits are, some of them are really good. And he did, uh, he went to a life drawing class right the way through and until his late 30s. So it wasn't that he couldn't draw people. He chose to make people uh, in this way which seemed to deny them of any individuality. And of course some people, critics of his work, um, say that this is because he wanted to uh, point out the the way in which industrialization took away people's individuality. They became a cipher in a, an industrial machine. But he says he, he doesn't um, see the, the people uh, uh, in, his, in his paintings in the way that a social reformer does. He sees them uh, with what he describes as a private beauty. Uh, he got the idea of painting this sort of work um, one day when he missed the train at Pendlebury uh, and he filled in the time by watching people come out from, from the sewing um, uh, mill just just near, near the station. Uh, and and um, there is um, a, about the way he paints um, people in these landscapes a sort of detachment. He's, he's very much alone looking at them. He's not engaging with them. And I think uh, the key perhaps to his painting of these types of picture is, is uh, to do with the comment that he made uh, that he was a very lonely person and that without that loneliness none of his art would have happened that's, that's what he said um, he was lonely in the sense that he never married never had any children uh, he wasn't lonely in the sense that he had plenty of friends well known for um, making up outrageous stories he used to enjoy going to watch Manchester, Manchester City play football he, he wasn't a, 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 someone who kept himself to himself at all but he experienced human loneliness and that, I think, is what these people express. They don't, in the pictures, relate to each other at all. They're all just there, isolated and on their own. Uh, and I, th I think in, in uh, expressing the human experience of loneliness in this way, he's, he's expressing something that, that probably we all feel, because ultimately we are all alone. Uh, we may have friendships, we may have happy uh, families that support and, and, and give us pleasure but um, we are in the end alone and it is our lives that we are leaving and I think sometimes we need just to embrace that aloneness the, uh, the experience that we have is sometimes painful and so we, we try and run away from it through, uh, through um, um, friendships which don't uh, meet our needs uh, uh, through putting demands on our families which are perhaps unfair on the other members of our family or we um, uh, um, find ways of filling our time which prevent us be being aware of our aloneness but I think uh, at the end of the day it's healthy just to acknowledge that we are in the end alone and that that's fine and that we can cope and that all, even in our aloneness will be well.